Welcome to Structo's Meet the Writers. This is a short form video series in which we talk to the poets and writers who have contributed work to Structo 20. Uh, today, we're very happy to be talking to Claire Miller. Hi, Claire. Hi. Uh, so you're, uh, you've got a poem in this new issue um, and you've, you've kindly agreed to read, to read it to kick off this chat. So yeah, yeah in, your, in your own time. Okay, so this is called Kreuzer. A mispronounced grey-brown sea of vowels, choking emphasis at your lips on resonant stresses. It runs its tongue over soft gum beds, curling like cheap caramel on a frothing shore pebble-peppered with Kreuzer. Clamshell crumbs and seaweed clump between wooden teeth, rippling saliva sand in a dry jaw attempting Kreuzer. You show me mud fights in July, watching our skin crack as Putten Island swallows the sun, sky bleeding complexions of Kreuzer. I found Kreuzer in your tongue, your arms, first love, second language. Give a kutch and say Fimaban as I'm reborn to the beach. The tides turn. Calm door lords a cautious kuch that finally tethers, finds home in the abyss. And I quite saw this. Thanks very much. It's not really nice to hear it. Um, you're you're Welsh. Uh, I'm, I'm, I I'm not. Welsh. You're not. Okay. <laughs> no, um, I moved there a... when I was quite. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was, so... Yeah, I moved when I was quite young, so technically kind of Welsh. Whenever I kind of choose to be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's certainly familiar with the language and the the flow of the language. I used to be. I'm not really as fluent as I was in my like GCSEs and things. Sure. But... Do you tend? Do you find yourself using uh, any of the Welsh or any of the kind of flow of the Welsh in your poetry in general? I think yeah, I try to. Um, I'm very conscious that because I'm not a native speaker, I, I want to be able to make sure it's correct, so I don't get brought up on it like later on down the line when it's wrong. Sure. But just the sounds of it, it just so interesting and so different from English but yeah I like to try and incorporate it where I can. And is that the same kind of fascination that is what's being described in this poem really? Yeah so it's it's kind of about my initial resentment towards Wales when I first moved there because it felt like it sort of dragged me away from my hometown um, so it's about me sort of like coming to terms with this whole new world this whole new language um, and it's about sort of like, cause the word croissant means welcome. So it's about Wales welcoming me and me slowly learning to welcome Wales into my life. Yeah. So has it been something that's been a long time coming in terms of articulating that feeling? Yeah, I think, cause obviously I moved when I was nine. So I had my whole teenage years and all that angst and like, yeah. I had to get over that first, I think, before I finally managed to get something like this out. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. And and the rest of it, kind of the, the poetry that you, you produce is quite varied, I would say. Is that, is that fair to say in terms of its content and tone? Yeah, um, I tend to be sort of influenced by very strict lines, uh, forms normally. So like this one especially was inspired by Seamus Heaney's sort of like digging and all of his sort of origin poems. Um, and it kind of went from there. So it, it was in four line stanzas and yeah, I just, I like to work in constrained forms. So, yeah. Is that the, the kind of the boundaries let you be more creative type situation? Yeah, it kind of gets the ideas going. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, so I, I was um, having a bit of a, a look based on your kind of bio and so on. And I found you, you had a bit of a browser on your website, which is really interesting. Um, although I was keep, kept struggling trying to actually say, so I keep wanting to say ecoetry, is that, is that correct? Yeah. Poetry. Okay. Yeah, it's just eco poetry. Exactly, but for some reason I was stumbling over that one. But it's a really <laughs> interesting combination of, of kind of what it sounds like. It's this. Sorry, I'm just having a look at. It. I'm just scrolling as we're talking. It's it's a, a really interesting combo of this kind of yeah, as you say, eco poetry and looking at zero kind of zero waste mm -hmm. and so on. It's um, is that something that you're interested in in kind of its broadest sense, not just through the writing? Yeah, definitely. Um. So this year was is one of my like news resolutions to start becoming a little bit more zero waste, um, but to do it in a way that doesn't like 
completely impact your life. So you're spending twice as much on groceries and things, just finding the, the easy ways to do it. But doing so it kind it, of almost through the lens of poetry is quite interesting. Yeah, I, want, I definitely want to explore because a lot of my poetry does tend to be nature based. Um, so it's quite a brand new blog, which yeah. I started like a couple of months ago. So I'm going to be putting more and more poetry on there. Yeah, so it's it, exciting. Yeah, it's, it seems like a really kind of quite a, they seem quite natural bedfellows, the, the poetry, especially kind of landscape nature poetry and, and that striving towards, you know, being, living a more sustainable life. Yeah, definitely. And also in terms of readers, I suspect there's probably an overlap there. So we'll stick, um, stick a link to it in the, in the description of this. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting mm -hmm. one. And I think it's a nice combo of, of subject and, uh, yeah, uh, and focus, which is really nice. So um, in the interest of keeping this short in this really warm office, yeah. um, let's, let's leave it there. Thanks again for, uh, for reading. Um, and yeah, uh, we, you'll, you'll have your copy very soon. And if, by the time this goes out, you may even well, may well have it. You know, so <laughs> thanks again. Thank you very and, much. Uh, yeah, talk to you soon.